Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be making a custom music disc for Minecraft 1.18.1. We first need a disc, and I know there's one up on this level up here. Let's just get past these spiders first. And we'll walk our way around and go over to that treasure chest. And inside there, hopefully, we'll find a music disc that we can use. There we go. Let's take a look in here, see what we've got. Okay, two discs. There's one, and there's two. And that's all we need. We have one of our discs now. We can go ahead and convert this into a custom music disc. Okay, I'm back here at my base, and let's see what we have here with this music disc. I'll strap it in right here. Okay, that one is Cat C418. Good enough. So we're going to change the music on that disc. We're also going to change the name when you put it into the jukebox, and we'll change the look of that disc as well. And for all that, let's switch over to the desktop and have a folder here to make this resource pack in. I just made it on my C drive and I named it Packs. It's right there. I also made my own pack.png image right here. This is just a 256 by 256 PNG file. It's all it is. Nothing special about that. We'll be needing that later. I'll show you where you can get the original one or the default one if you want to in just a bit here. Now we need to have a few more things. We need to have the files and we need to set up our folder structure for this. So we'll first start off by bringing up the launcher and we'll get some files out of that. Here we go, right now I'm in 1.18.1, right there. And let's go into Installations. And then over here to the right, click on the folder icon right there. All these have folders, it doesn't matter which one, they all go to the exact same place, so click on that. Open this up, this takes you into the Minecraft folder. And in here, Versions folder, which is right over here, open this up. In here, find the version that you're playing. Right now I'm playing 1.18.1, which is right here. We want this one, open that up and you're gonna find two files here, a .jar and a .json. Now, if you don't see the .jar, go here to View. I'm in Windows 11 right now. Click on View and Show, and down here, Fonim Extensions, right there. If you're in Windows 10 or earlier, click on the View tab, and then put a check next to Fonim Extensions, same thing. Okay, we want that jar file right here. I wanna copy this over into our working folder, so I'll put this right here. Let's just bring our working folder back up. There it is. And then I'll right drag this over here and copy. There we go. We also need to have a pack.mc meta file. A couple ways to get that. If you happen to have an earlier version in here of Minecraft, I have 116.5. 117 is too recent. If you have 116.5 or earlier, this will work. Go inside of that, take that jar file, drag it down here, and copy, right drag, copy. There it is. Now, if you don't have an earlier version, you can also download this from my website. I'll put a link for that in the description. Okay, we're done with that. It's out of the way. When I need to convert these over to zip files, it's real easy. Just click into the name like that, backspace, and then type over so it says zip. Say yes. Do the same thing over here. There we go. Okay, let's now open up the 118.1, right click and open in new window. And there it is. Now go into the assets folder right here, into Minecraft, into textures, and come down into item. And then scroll down to the music discs. Just scroll way down here. It's in the M's. Music disc, we're doing cat right here. So right drag that over and copy right there. We'll be changing that icon. We now need to recreate this folder structure up here. So I'll put that right there. So you want a new folder, a new folder right there. Call this one assets. Go inside of that one, new folder. This one is Minecraft. There we go, inside of that, new folder, textures. There we go, inside of that, new folder, and this one is item. And we'll put that disk inside there when we change the look of that. Okay, back here to our packs folder. We need a few more things still. Go back to the folders here and then back up to where it says Minecraft, and go into the Lang folder right here. You want that en underscore us json, right drag that over here, and copy, we'll be editing that also. Now if you're not using the us English language, I have another video on how to find the right file for that. I'll put a link for that video in the description. Okay, and we still need to get that packmc meta file. So for that, let's just close this out. Then we're back here inside of the packs folder, and then open up your older version here of your jar file. Right click, open in new window. There it is. Now in here we need to scroll way down on this list right here. I'll just go way down here. It's down near the end. And it's right here. There's the pack MC meta and there's that pack PNG. 
This is the one that is the default grass block. So if you don't want to make your own, like I talked about earlier up there with my spacesuit, then just grab that one. We need this, right drag it over here and copy. Okay, and that's right there. And again, if you don't have an earlier version like this, you can just download that file from my website and I'll put a link for that in the description. Okay, now we need to make just a few more folders over here in Assets. Let's go into Assets, Minecraft. And right here in the Minecraft folder, right next to the textures, go up to New, Folder, and this one's going to be Sounds. There it is. Let's make another folder in here, New Folder, and this one is Lang. Okay, go into the Sounds folder, and one more new folder here, Folder, Records. Okay, our folders are all set. Now you also need a sound file for this. Let me bring one up. I have a few songs in here from the YouTube Music Library. I'll just take this one and right drag it over here and we'll copy that. And there's my sound file. Okay. Now mine has this big cone shape on it because I'm using the VLC media player for my sound files. If you have a different media player, you'll see a different icon, so don't even worry about that. Now, first thing we need to do is to convert this sound file here, this MP3 file, into the .ogg or .og file format. And my preferred way to do that is to use the free sound editing app, Audacity. I'll put a link for Audacity in the description. Here we go, here's Audacity. Let's just get that out of the way. And then will bring up our working folder. Then I'll just drag the file in here like that. Easy enough. Now notice that this is a stereo file. We want to convert this over into mono so that it runs properly in the game. Let's go up to tracks, come down to mix, and mix stereo down to mono. There it is, that's all set. And then let's now output this as a .ogg file. So that's file, come down to export, export as OGG. And here's our work folder, looks good. Choose save, click OK. Let it convert that over to the .ogg format. And that's now all done, we can get that out of the way. And there we go, there's that new OGG file. Okay, I need to rename this to match what's used in the game. I also want to change the lang file at the same time. So I'm just gonna come in here and I'll select just part of that right there. Right click and copy. There we go. Now we change the name over here in the enus.json file right here. I have mine opening up in Notepad++. It's a free text editor and is great for this kind of code work. I'll just bring this up, double click. Here we go. Now in here we need to find the music section. So go up to search and find. Go into music, find next. That gets us right down here to the ambience. And let's just skip down a little bit here. And there we go. There's our disk section. So that's done. And we're changing the one right here, music disk cat. That's that one. And it's also right down here. The first name up here, this is what it says when it's inside the inventory. So I'm just going to do select over that. Make sure you leave those quotation marks. Right click and paste the new name right here. Clean it up like that, there we go. And then the second one right down here, there it is. This one is the name that it shows when you put it into the jukebox. So I'll change this name as well. Right click and paste. That's done. Let's now save that file. Okay, now we're here. This just needs to be renamed cat, just like that. Let's now put these in the right location. I'll grab both of those and I'll drag those over here into assets. Let's go into assets. Drag them both into Minecraft, go into Minecraft. Now this file here goes into the Lang folder. There it is. This file goes into the Sounds folder. Let's go inside here. And then this goes into the Records folder right there. Let's double check that. There it is. That's all fine. Let's go back to our PAX folder. So that is all taken care of. Let's now change the look of our music disc right down here. And I'll be opening this up in Paint.net, which is a free paint program. I'll put a link for that in the description also. There we go, and I have my working folder here in front. And that's so I can just take this and drag it into the program like that and open. There it is. Now these are real small files, so I'm to make this file bigger so it's easier to work with. And let's also zoom into this a little bit. And there's my zoom tool, make it a bit bigger. I want more detail on this. So I'll go up here to image, come down to resize. This is at 16 by 16. I'll make this one 64 by 64. And I have this set for nearest neighbor. Everything else I'll leave alone, choose OK. And now it's a much bigger file, so I can get a bit more detail in here. And I have another picture I want to use on top of this. Instead of this old 45 style, I want to have a CD look. So let me bring up a picture I found online. There it is. I'll just bring it a bit larger here. Let's make this size match the other size. So image, come down to resize. This is at 133 by 132. I want this at 64 by 64. There we go. 
Everything else I'll leave alone. Choose OK. That's fine. I'll now do a select all, edit, select all, and then edit copy. Go back over here, and then edit, paste into new layer, and we'll put it right on top like that. Now, with my move tool, I can resize this thing and get it so it kind of fits just over the top of the other image. Make it just a bit larger over here and a bit more on this side, I think. There we go. That looks good. And Control D to deselect and I'll hide that background layer. And there we go. There's my new look for this CD. And we'll save this out. File. I'm going to do a file save first in the same location. And this just gives me this as a PDN file that's a paint.net file. In case I want to come back and change it in the future, that will save me some work. And then File Save As. You know, I change the file format here to PNG, and that's all correct. Then go into Assets, Minecraft, Textures, and Item, and it goes right there. And Save, and OK, and then Flatten. OK, that is done. Get that out of the way. And I won't save that one again. So we now have our new disk taken care of. Everything else is in here. All we have left is to edit the pack MC meta file over here. Again, I have this opening up in Notepad++. Bring this up. Just two things in here. We have a description and a pack format. Now, if you're in 118.1, this needs to be set to pack format 8. And then right up here, I'll just call this one new music disc. Like that. And save. That's done. Let's now zip this up into a resource pack. So choose assets. Hold the control key down. Get that pack MC meta and that pack PNG. And then if you're in Windows 10 or earlier, click on the Share tab and then click Zip. In Windows 11, click on these three dots right here and choose Compress to Zip File. Does the same thing. Notice it gives me the name of that Assets folder over here. Let's just double check, open it up, and you should see your Assets and those two files. That looks fine. Let's now rename this. Just click into the name. And I'll call it New Music Disk. And we're now set to put this into the game. Okay, for that, let's go back here to the launcher, back to that folder, bring that up, and in here, come down to Resource Packs right there, and I want to put it right in this folder here. So let's just go over here, I'll take this, then just drag it in like that, let go, and there we go. And it's all set. Let's now get that out of the way, get this out of the way, and we can go ahead and play this and test that out and see if it works properly. So click on Play, and we'll launch this into the game. We'll have to activate this in Options, we'll do that at the title screen and that's loading in right now and here at my custom title screen if you want to find out how I did this up at links for these videos in the description let's come down here to options and resource packs and you should see it over here left hand side there it is new music disc hit that arrow comes over here to the right hand side choose done let that load in that resource pack done and single player back to our main world there we go. You can see the new disk right there in the inventory. If I roll over that, there's the new name. See, there's a regular disk. Here's the new name. So image is good. That name is good. Let's now drop it in the jukebox. Make sure you see the name as it goes in the jukebox. And let's see if it also sounds correct. Okay. There's the new name. And there's our new music. That's all working fine. Let's just right-click and get that back out of there again. Okay, that's all working perfectly. And I'll see you next time.